Well, next week, millions of travelers are expected to take to the skies for Thanksgiving, and airports are gearing up for large crowds. But concerns are looming about TSA staffing and the fast approaching federal vaccine mandate. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis has more. LaGuardia Airport has decked the halls for the holidays, a sign these short lines won't last. A surge in Thanksgiving travelers is expected beginning Friday. Which will be approaching the pre pandemic 2019 periods of uh, volume that we saw from two years ago. In preparation, TSA officials are setting the table with what you can and cannot bring on board. Pies, cakes, baked goods are solid. Solid foods can go in your carry-on, but liquids must be checked. You can spill it, spread it, spray it, pump it or pour it. You should go right here. Bringing prohibited items slows down screening. One reason agents recommend plenty of time. So you guys got to get here like two hours before your actual flight. Be patient. The TSA says typically the busiest travel days are the Tuesday and Wednesday before Thanksgiving and the Sunday afterward. Go down and see the family in New Orleans. While many plan to fly, this couple will drive, noting many reasons, including recent turbulence with airlines. I wouldn't want to book a flight for December right now based on the situations with South West and American and the vaccine mandates for staff and all the flights that are already being canceled. With Monday's vaccine deadline looming for the federal workforce, including TSA employees, concerns were raised on Capitol Hill over travel disruptions. As of October, 60% of the TSA was fully vaccinated, but its administrator says the numbers have improved greatly. I don't expect the vaccine mandate to have any impact whatsoever on Thanksgiving travel. Best to be prepared for the worst and hope for the best. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. The head of TSA security at LaGuardia says that he has no concerns about staffing.